transferred to the next available agent. Thank you for calling all Lancaster support. My name is Mark William. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, hello. I was just using Google, hello. and then I've got a message on the screen which says, um, please don't, or do not restart your computer. Um, mm -hmm. Microsoft Windows has detected Zeus virus, and the infections indicate that some unauthorized file tampering has taken place on the computer which must mm -hmm. be diagnosed and rectified to prevent mm -hmm. loss of personal data and then it's got the the number that I've just rung. Okay and what is that ticket number? What is the error code? Um, the right number? I think is that W B C K L four five seven? Okay. And uh, is it uh, start facing this problem from how long, like just now or just from today? Uh, just now, but I can't, if I click the buttons or try and close it, it won't let me do it. Okay, no problem. My name is Mark William and call has been transferred to the support center. Okay. So, in order to go ahead and uh, help you out, sir, uh, you need to provide me some of your basic information, like it's a laptop, a desktop? Uh, it's a desktop. Desktop. You need to look down on the keyboard on the left hand side, the yep. control key, CTR. Can you see that? Yes. So now you need to press the control key. Uh, no. The next key is window for flash. Can you see next to the control? Yep. Window for uh, flash. Uh, yeah. yeah. So now press the window key and let the R together. R is in Romeo. Okay. Uh. Uh, it's then saying type, uh, type the name of a program? Yes, that's correct. Now you need to type there H, H is in heavy. Yeah, H. Another H, H for heavy. Yeah. Now give it one space, single space. Uh, a, a gap, like a space. Single space. Yeah. Now another A. Yeah. So now uh, uh, tell me uh, what exactly you type. So I've got I don't mind. Uh, H in lowercase and then another H in lowercase and then a gap mm -hmm. and then another H in lowercase. Yeah. This is two H, then space, then one more. Right. Yeah, all, all lowercase, so not not in capitals. Oh, yeah, all in double H, single space, then in, right? Y yeah. Now hit the enter key. Uh, which one's the enter key? Oh, yeah. that's the bottom right hand corner says enter on it. Yep, yeah, that that one. And then it's now saying I've got another box in the t uh, top right which has. Uh, this mm -hmm. pet and then it's like cut off and I can't read the rest of it. This space cannot be displayed, right? I, well, it just says this PA and then that's it, that's all I can see. Uh, can you please make this space, uh, make that space large, make it large, maximize that? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, that says this page can, can't be displayed. Did you maximize that page? Yeah. Yeah, now on that page, on the top, very top, there's the HTML help. Can you see that? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the left hand side of the schema hub, there's a very small yellow color system mark. Can you see that? Yeah. Now click on that. Yeah. Now what do you see? Uh, it says restore and then move size, minimize, mm -hmm. maximize, close. Yeah. Second last option is jump to this URL. Can you see jump to this URL? Yeah. Yeah. Click and on that. saying j uh, jump to this URL and then it's got a, a white box. Yeah. Once you click on jump to URL, another pop come up. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. On that back, you need to type www. Yeah. Dot nine two. One one dot info i n f o info yeah so w w w all lowercase dot all in yeah so w w w dot and then number then the number nine the number two the number one the number one and then dot i n f o yes that's now hit the enter key. And then it's come up with like four boxes. <clears throat> the one says show my PC com and then the other one's Supremo. Then another one that yeah, says Cambia. And then Yeah, second option is Supremo. Please click on Supremo. And it says do I want to run or save the file? Click on run. Uh, and then it says do, uh, security warning, do you want to run this software? Yes. yes. Um, and there's another box with a, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer. Yeah. Click on it. Uh, now it's, I've got another box on the screen with lots of writing. Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah, please do this. So it do? says how how to launch Supremo, and then it's got uh, a thing that says run Supremo. Or install Supremo. On, the, on that page, on the bottom right hand side, there's access. Yeah. Can you see access? Yeah. Look yeah. On. Okay, that uh, that's come up with lots of stuff. It says, do I want to update Supremo and Click it on. also. Click on no. Okay. Uh, now, now I've got. Have you the, your data, this is the 9 digit ID. Can you provide me the ID number? The number on the screen. Yes. And ID number that. Four six one. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon. Is it name? So it says four six one. Mhm. Mm six nine zero. Mhm. Mm five three one. Uh, what's the password? Just know there's a password. What is the password? Uh, in my password or w which password? Supremo. Just, just uh, below the ID, there's a password. What is the password? Oh, uh, five six three five. Just me and hold. So let me connect. I'm connecting. Not at all. The mouse is moving on, do I need to click on anything? Yes, now uh, I can see. It's, uh, it's showing me the problem there. 
Uh, let's have a look. It was in the in Google. There, that one. Do I need to do anything? It's from Google. Yeah. Okay. But then if you, like, if I go to press OK, it just comes back again. Okay. Let me, uh, take the problem, sir. Just be on hold for one minute. Okay, let me, uh, put some security. I will do some things. Give me, give me one minute. And how old is the computer, sir? Um, um, I don't know, a couple of years at least. And normally, how, what do you do on the computer? Uh, uh, just browse the internet, read my email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So normally, it will work fine or uh, going to be do you have a platform do you have any issue? It's worked fine until today when I was just using Google and looking up for benches and then it just came up with that message. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's lots of questions on the screen. Do I need to do it? Really? Uh, no, I didn't do it. Yes, sir. I'm checking the system in configuration. And do you use any antivirus? Do you uh, have any antivirus? Uh, the Avast. Avast. Is it the paid or uh, is it the trial version? So, uh, it's the paid one. Right. Uh, it's the paid one. Right? Paid one. Oh, Come up with my downloads folder. Uh, in my downloads folder. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Um. Do I need to do anything? Do I need to do anything? 
Yeah, I'm doing a security check today. Let me hand it over to and... Actually, uh, this is a kind of, uh, it's not a virus, it's actually a security breach in your computer in this virus. Security has been compromised. So, this is a kind of uh, malware attack. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, kind of a problem in your network. Because your firewall is not activated and you don't have the network security in your computer. You see, because of this virus, the most of the program stops. So many Microsoft programs stop. Stop, yeah. stop, stop, yeah. stop, stop, running. Some of the running, some of the stop. And this program has been stopped because the virus has corrupted so many files and folders in the computer. Okay. And that's why the computer is working slow. And okay. Uh, but would, uh, do I need to speak to a Do I need to speak to a yeah, so in order to uh, fix this problem, sir, first let me check if you have the network protection or not. Let me check in. Let me see your Because this problem comes through the network. And the people, do, those who don't have the file protection, network protection, what the hackers do, they come into your computer without your permission or the hybrid. You want me to uh, go ahead and check this for you? Um, well, is that that's the problem <laughs> with the with internet, and, that, and then I can use the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so in order to go ahead and fix the problem, sir, what we need to do? I will write down here in your chat. First of all, we need to install this network. Okay, I do not already have okay. a so. No, you don't have the network security. You have the virus protection. These are not the virus. You have a problem to your network. What the, what the network, if the network is not protected, what happens they do? They can come anytime. The all income network connection is allowed in the computer. I have seen the setting. In the setting, all income connection is allowed. Anyone can come to your computer without a permission. So once we install the network security, nobody in future will come in the computer without a permission for the authorization. Whoever will come first, they have to take the authorization from me. And like today, I have to come in the computer, but I have to take the authorization from you. I cannot come without your authorization. These people come without your authorization because you don't have the network security. Do you understand, sir? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, okay. And you can talk to you five of Firewall is not protected. How do we do over there? In order to go ahead and solve the problem, sir, I need some of the basic information. Um, okay. mm -hmm. okay. You want me to type? Yeah. Yeah, type your phone name and the phone number and the number. So that I can join the class with you.
ஹலோ ஐயா ஹலோ ஐயா ஹலோ Your property number is 97A or 97B or is it 97? Uh, it's just 97. But uh, if it's not in the list then I think A does it. It's not A or B? Well it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. Uh, because it's uh, S or uh, oh no, A, A, A will do. It will be A right? A or B? I think oh, you just know uh, 97. A, right? Oh, and they're basically the same place. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. So, would you like to go for one kind of uh, installation or, or for one year? Like, Um, well, can it, it says here that it's free of charge, and so is that just the one time? Yeah, the technical support is free of charge, but in order to uh, face this problem, we need the software, and to buy the software, there should be a charge for one-time installation, that is valid for six months, that's validity, one-time installation validity, six months. That is uh, 89 for me, yeah. and for one year like this, we will be getting complete one year, three technical support. Technical support means you can care about how much problem you get any problem in the future, in your scanner or in the email, in the email, in the email, in the email, and any problem in the type of device, in your smartphone, in your wife, and software is in the uh, trouble to use, you can give us a call and we will fix that right in there, so that you must ask for that. So for one year, that is one for the next one now. Um, but why did you say it's free here? So, so which one do you like to work with? No, if you have this, and, and yeah, if, if, you, if you have the network security, then it's so easy to apply. If you don't have the network security, you don't have the power, you don't have any more of it. Okay. The only way I can get rid of that is, is buying the network security. Sorry? The only way that I can get rid of uh, this message, do I have to buy the network security? Yeah. If If suppose today I fix it free of course for you, but tomorrow or just tomorrow it will arise again, you know, okay? That is not a solution. To fix this problem completely and to fix your computer and your personal information, then you can use the license of the software so that there will be no problem and no attack in the future, okay? So if I see you wait to fix it, I guess. If problem with the software, it's not a solution, okay? I can uh, remove it now, but it will come after one hour again. So that's what I'm saying. To fix it completely, we need the software to protect you in your identity. 
Uh, okay. Um, is there anything that's like less than six months? Because well, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't think I can do. That's like ninety pounds. So is it? What is it? Is there anything that's less than um, that, like six? Like, is there anything that doesn't cost as much? Can I generate the license fee for you? Uh, I don't know what oh. that means. Mm -hmm. Because if it, uh, if it's a problem with the license fee, the problem is then will arise again and again. Okay? Uh, well, wh whatever's, whatever's going to be the cheapest way to do it. Cheapest because it's a one-time solution, that is for six months, that is 59499 if that's and the only way that you can fix the problem, then yeah, I guess I'm going to have to, but unless you can do anything better on the price. Yeah, you have to leave the computer once you study the coding, okay? And you don't have to be over the phone once we are working on you complete the work. We will give you call graph again and I will show you that what we have the work carried out on the computer and we will provide you all and you will be receiving all the so legal documentation on the email which you have provided me just now. This is only again at gmail.com right now. Once the payment is made, automatically the invoice will be delivered to you in five minutes. So, yeah. But I go for what country? Uh, yeah, well, if, unless you can do lower cost than that. Okay. In order to go ahead and generate the license fee, uh, what payment method will you use? Will you use your MasterCard or Visa card? Uh, can you do PayPal? PayPal, uh, we don't have the Visa, Master, Visa, and... Uh, uh, let's see. It is... A... I'm trying to find the right card. I think it's a visa. Yeah, it's a visa. Yeah, no problem. You can type down the long screen view on the front of the card. You can type on that. Yeah, uh, is that a secure website? Yeah, that will be safe and secure. I will do in front of you. I'd say that again, I couldn't quite hear it. Yeah, if you work under Data Protection Act 1998 law, you don't need to worry about it. Every call is monitored and every second. Okay, I don't see like the padlock though, like when I'm on online shopping I get like a padlock sign? Yeah, you will get that. Okay. So that, that will come up in a minute? Yeah. Uh, so what do you need me to do? Yeah, you need to type down the long speaking uh, on front of the card. Start with Google. You mean to, to read it to you? You can type from here. Are you done, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what is the expiration date? Uh, sorry, say that again? Oh, sorry. Uh, ex expiration date. Check the card number again. Uh, I think it's uh, one number uh, on seventeen. Actually, on eighteen. I think I've got. I think I've got another. Yeah, there's only two on the end there. So there we go. Okay. Mm. 
making very high value here. How does your name appear on this card? Uh, it's Mr. So MR and then O uh, and then a space and then room R. Oh, oh, sorry, okay. Are you done, sir? Yeah, yeah. Now, sir, click on save with your credit card. Okay. Then save. Okay, no problem. It's actually, uh, do you have a cell phone in your hand? A telephone? Hello. The one I'm speaking to you on one. No, not telephone. Telephone. Mobile. Do you have mobile? Phone? 
Uh, not that's charged up, I don't think. No, it's not charged. Normally, uh, yeah, normally when you make the payment, you get the maximum alert on your mobile. You normally get the alert on your mobile. Um, not that I remember. Actually, uh, what we are going to do, we need to, you will be receiving a text message from your bank regarding the payment. So you need to authorize that payment, then you will pass it. Because it's being put on hold by your bank. Okay. You see here? Yeah. Yeah, transaction not active. Can you please charge your mobile phone? Say again, can I plug it in? Yeah, you might, uh, do you, you normally receive the text message from your bank on your mobile? About uh, the, I don't, about the I don't really bank. use my mobile, so um, I normally just use it for data, so I don't think I've ever had any phone calls or messages. Normally you don't receive a bank message on your mobile? I don't think they've ever sent me anything. Okay. Do, do you have a different card apart from this? Do you have a credit card, MasterCard? Uh, I've got another Visa, I can try. Yeah, you can try that. You can type the name exactly and at the end. For the for the different card. Yes. And I click on save to save back. And it's saved. No problem, sir. Uh, can you please do one thing? Uh, can you click back the card? And there will be a telephone number, a card inquiry number. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. What you need to do, you need to call, call up your bank and tell the bank that I am well, I don't have what you need. I'm using a lot of things. Oh, you know, I don't know. Do that. I'm using a lot of things. You can tell them I'm making a payment of 89499 to prove the payment as I'm a tag in the So once yeah. you finish up with your bank, yeah. then uh, you can try to... So I'll give you a call back again, okay? Uh, yeah. Um... You can uh, call yeah, any of okay. the... Uh, yeah, which bank is... Card. Which bank? 
Yeah, what is the bank? Is T D bank. So T mm-hmm. for telephone, D for uh, yeah, D rail yeah. bank. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. So you can call up your bank. Uh, if yeah. On, uh, a set of the card. And tell them that I'm meeting up in the hall. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Don't you think it's a good bank? And you can type here, then I give you a call back, or if you can give me a call back on this number. Okay. 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 Give me a call back, or yeah. you can type here, I give you a call back. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll ring them and um and I'll 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 give you a call or, or put a message on yeah. there. Yeah, tell them uh release the payment as I'm making the payment. It's for your security, okay? Sir? That is for your security. Oh, uh, what? I sorry. What, what about security? The ba- Yeah. The the payment is on a hold. It's, it's for your security. So yeah. If, okay. If you call up your bank, then the bank. Okay. That is for your security. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye.